As a star wide receiver for the Seattle Seahawks, Doug Baldwin embraced the opportunity to inspire change, unifying the team in linking arms during the national anthem and helping to establish the NFL Players Coalition, which advocates for social justice and racial equity at the federal, state, and local levels. Since his retirement from football in 2019, his focus has shifted to creating more opportunities for marginalized communities. He runs an impact investment fund that helps organizations aiming to disrupt historically excluded systems. And as the CEO of the software company Ventrec, he's making it easier for individuals to live stronger and healthier lives. Over a decade in the making, the doors will soon open at the Family First Community Center, a $15 million project that will be spearheaded with the city of Renton. This outspoken yet humble pursuit of a better society means he is a frequent host or featured guest at community barbecues, youth sports camps, and speaking engagements. And he will be the first to tell you it takes a team, which is why he joined former Seahawks legends Cliff Averill and Michael Bennett to create Champions of Change as a means to empower and galvanize people of all ages, cultures, and backgrounds to serve as change agents. In 2022, he was appointed by Governor Jay Inslee to the State Clemency and Pardons Board. Baldwin's belief in second chances brings a valuable perspective to a group making impactful decisions. Doug Baldwin is a humanitarian to celebrate. He combines compassion with accountability as he works to make our community a more equitable place. Knowing there is always work to be done, Baldwin's influence will be felt for decades to come. So everyone, please join us in welcoming you to the stage this year's recipient of the Paul G. Allen Humanitarian Award, Doug Baldwin Jr. Every day I wake 
up are teaching me that love is always the answer. Always the answer. Um, and then to my team. You know, this award is more of a reflection of who you are and the times that we get to work together and the work that we get to do to collaborate to serve our community. I'm thankful for your commitment to your sacrifice and to your dedication to the mission. And then to my partners, you know who you are, for the work that you actually do on the ground, the hard work, the soulful work, the work that doesn't get pointed out. And I know you don't do it for the recognition and I'm so grateful for that because as Bruce said, it's authentic work. And we hold ourselves accountable to that and that mission. And I'm grateful to all of you. There's three things that will last forever. Faith, hope, and love. And love is the greatest of those three. So I have a call to action for you. You look around you in this room, it's a lot of privilege. A lot of privilege in this room. Let's call it what it is. We're all privileged to be here tonight. In this room, there's a lot of power. And you all know with great power comes great responsibility. But I want to flip that on its head and give you an opportunity. With great responsibility comes great power. And I hope you don't take that responsibility for granted. Take that responsibility, take that power, and spread love. Thank you.